Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Following the reemergence of Daisy Kent's explicit video, Nick Vile believes ABC will not select her to be the next Bachelorette. For all the information concerning the contentious video and its possible significance, continue reading. As it is Steve claims ABC has selected the next Bachelorette. Fans of Bachelor Nation have been eagerly awaiting ABC to reveal the next Bachelorette. Last month, the network declared that season 21 will premiere in the summer and that the first season of Golden Bachelorette will air in the fall. Not even Bachelor expert spoilers, as it is Steve is aware of the network selection. He did learn from his sources, though that a bachelorette has been selected and will shortly begin filming. Women's Health Reality claims that Steve thinks that during Monday's season 28, after the final Rose special, ABC may finally reveal the news. Depending on who receives Joey Graziati's last rose, R.S. claims that Maria Jorgas, Kelsey Anderson, and Daisy Kent will have to make the decision. Nick Lyle, following her NSFW video, Daisy Kent won't be a bachelorette. However, Nick Lyle believes that Daisy Kent's offensive video has already eliminated her from the running. Nick claims that the producers could prefer not to be connected to inappropriate activity. He also has personal experience. He disclosed that after he uploaded dubious stuff on social media, the network was hesitant to choose him as Bachelor. Caitlin's season ended, and I was simply taking the summer off. I took some time off from work over Nick's summer. I was very messed up after the show, Nick said. During dinner with Nick, he said a showrunner commented, That ruined your chances posting like, I'm working out and arguably Dutch A. F boy type of. Although he went on to become The Bachelor, he believes Daisy's chances of becoming The Bachelorette have been wrecked. I don't know, how about Maria? Nick surmised, when a video of Daisy singing surfaces, she's in a song where he's like, suck on my nuts and lick on my balls. Daisy, you sang? Daisy Kent's divisive rap song makes a comeback. Us Weekly reports that in 2021, Daisy Kent appeared in the music video for Sundown, a song by up-and-coming rapper Ave Dollar. The video vanished from public view after being momentarily accessible on YouTube. Still, nothing on the internet truly disappears. Because of a clever Bachelor Nation fan who downloaded and uploaded the video to Reddit, it is still available there. Do you believe Daisy Kent's chances of winning The Bachelorette were ruined by the video, as claimed by Nick Weil? Post your ideas in the comments section. In terms of lit filler, Kelsey Anderson says no. In an honest post on TikTok on Thursday, March 21, the season 28 Bachelor contestant said, I did get lit filler a little over a year ago. As soon as I realized it, I was really furious with myself. I don't know why I got lip filler. I never desired it before. I've always had larger lips, she remarked, displaying her lips as seen by the camera after the injections. Anderson continued by saying she immediately regretted having fillers put in. I got it dissolved in the end, so this is me without filler, she grinned at the camera. I don't see me doing that again just because I'm content with my appearance without adding anything extra. Anderson wrote, no more filler for me, as the post caption. But love to my natural girls, my filler girls, and the lovely idea of preference. In the comments area, Anderson's candor was immediately praised by the public. One follower replied, girl, you do not need to explain, we love you while another said, Ong, oh, this is so real. She was urged to reveal her lip combo from The Bachelor by more social media fans. Her signature bubblegum pink pout is well known. 
Joey Graziadé's top two remaining ladies on the dating show, which debuted in January, include Anderson. In addition, Daisy Kent is still vying for Graziadé's affection. Graziadé talked candidly to Us Weekly earlier this month about the moment he fell in love with Anderson. He alluded to an episode from February when he added, With Kelsey, you go back to the last time she really started expressing things, almost back to Montreal. We both acknowledged that I was falling along with her in Montreal while she was plummeting. I wanted to be deliberate with my words, so I never said it to her. Even though Katie Bigar won The Bachelor's 27th season, haters still target her. How does she handle people who bully her online? For all the information on her coping strategy, continue reading. Update on Katie Bigger's wedding. Fans of Bachelor Nation have been closely following Katie Bigar and Zach Shalcross, the season 27 Bachelor coupling. Breakup rumors have followed them, particularly after her engagement ring vanished. In Austin, Texas, Katie and Zach have moved past reality TV and gone back to leading regular lives. They've postponed their wedding in order to prioritize becoming homeowners. However, Katie provided an update regarding the impending nuptials. She disclosed that they might tie the knot in late 2025. Jess Palmer talks about cyberbullying. One of the most outspoken fan bases is Bachelor Nation. However, things can occasionally get out of hand, particularly with the anonymity of the internet. Rachel Nance, a contestant from Bachelor Season 28, went on stage with presenter Jess Palmer at the Women Tell All event. The third-place competitor talked about how she courted Joey Grezia Day. It wasn't all roses and champagne, though. After the show premiered, Rachel opened up about the awful direct messages she kept getting. She disclosed at a vulnerable moment that she was receiving racist remarks in private messages from certain Bachelor Nation members. When Joy handed her a rose rather than Maria Jorgas, the animosity just grew. Jess Palmer addressed the crowd directly, warning those who were making fun of the reality TV personalities. Katie Bigger talks about how she handles adversarial messages. Jesse asked the studio audience of Bachelor Nation candidates to raise their hands if they had ever received a harsh direct message at one point. Contestants Kathy Swartz and Susan Knowles from Golden Bachelor leaped to their hands as well, since they had a thrilling announcement to make. Katie Bigar shared her encounter with haters on her Instagram story. She was questioned if she had received hostile remarks by a fan. Katie gave one example and acknowledged that she did. You're posting this merely to pique the jealousy of the few miserable girls who are just like you. The critic remarked, You're a fasterisk asterisk king, embarrassing sad excuse for a woman, in reference to a picture that Katie posted of herself with Zach Shawcross. How does Katie respond to the bigotry? It's probably reasonable to say that each competitor receives incredibly offensive messages. All you have to do is laugh it off and roll with the punches, she said. Do you believe that fans of Bachelor Nation are being too harsh on the contestants? Post your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.